So I got the Cavo Nomad handheld x-ray unit here. This recently got back from repair because this is used in our student dental clinic. And of course it's going to be dropped once in a while. So it was not working at all to send it in re to repair. When we got it back, it, the settings were set back to the factory settings, which are really low. I don't know in what world the, uh, the settings that they have as the factory default work for digital radiography. But we like it turned up quite a bit, and so I'll show you how to do that. But it was repaired, it came back, and they said the images were really light. They showed me the image, it was really non-diagnostic. And so just looking at the settings, when you turn it on, it goes back to the factory default settings which is way too light. Uh, if you compare that to your wall mount unit, that's going to be about six or seven milliamps. And so if you have a comparably low time, the exposure is just way too low. And so if I want to increase this time to 0.3 and save that as the default setting for your, your incisor periapicals, this is going to be both maxillary or mandibular. You see we only have three settings on the Nomad. You have uh, anterior periapicals, posterior periapicals, or bite wings. So makes it pretty easy, pretty simple, but you don't get a lot of different selections for different areas. And so whether this is maxillary or mandibular, incisor or canine, this one is all your maxillary or all your anterior periapicals. And I want to increase that to 0.3. So I hold down the up button until I get to 0.3. And you're not going to hold this down. This is the select button. You're just going to hit it once. And then it asks you if you want to save settings. Uh, this up button for yes, then OK, the select button again. And now that's reset the default setting for your anterior periapicals to 0.3. So just that easy. So let's go do posterior periapicals. And that I want at 0 0.4. Change that. Hit the select button just once. Save setting, yes. Okay, and there my, my adult digital posterior PAs is now set as a default, so you can turn this off and back on, and it's going to go back to 0.4 seconds. Now we need to change the bite wing. That's all the way down to 0.17, when actually I want it double that, I want it 0.35. Change that to 0.4. And that should be good. And that's pretty much all we use is the adult setting for digital. So you can see it's going to be low as well for child. But as far as I know, the students in clinic never use that setting. And that would be really low again. But that's it. So you can see if I turn it off, back on, it should be set to what I just selected here. There's the bite wings. There's the anterior PAs, posterior PAs. And that should be good. It's that simple.